Hello everyone, Kenton Kavestu from the Rocket Blocks team here. In this mock interview video, we're sitting down with Ava Morgenstein, who is a product manager at JP Morgan focused on payments products. And in this particular mock interview, we're going to sit down and ask her a common technical question, which is what is an API and how would you explain it to someone that doesn't know of the concept? So let's go ahead and jump in. And let's go ahead and just jump into the first question, which is uh, focus on APIs. And basically what I want to ask you is, you know, help me understand what an API is and, and what the purpose of it is. And sort of to the extent possible, you know, put yourself in the shoes of like, if you were explaining this concept to someone who's never heard of it for the first time, like how would you explain this to them? You know, think of like explaining an API to your grandfather or something like that. Sure. So I'll just start by telling you what API actually stands for because that's always a good start, <laughs> but it stands for an application programming interface. Okay. And from a very high level technical perspective, what it does is it is a standard communication contract between two different applications mm. or different types of software. Okay. And what that actually means in practice is that it allows two different entities to communicate with each other in a way that's been standardized by whatever code the API consists of. Mm, interesting. Okay. And to get a little bit more into kind of what its purpose is and why you would use one, you could use an API to access data. That's really the most common use of it. So if you are, let's say, watching the weather channel and the weather channel says it's 75 degrees and sunny, that piece of information is actually coming from an API. The weather channel is reaching out to a data asset that has information about the current weather and saying, what's the weather right now? That data asset is sending information back and saying, it's 75 degrees and sunny outside. And that is then what's broadcast to you on the weather channel. So that's a data access API. Another possible use for one, and I'll take a pause there and, and see if that makes sense or if I can make that clearer anyway. Yeah, it, it does make sense. I guess the question I have maybe sort of naive questions like why, why do you need an API? Why can't you just, I don't know, why can't you just get it out of the database directly if you have that data? Yeah, absolutely. So essentially the reason that you need an API is you have to define what you need from that database. That database could contain hundreds of thousands or billions of pieces of information in it. And you just want to know what the weather is right now. And if that is what your use case is for, then you want to write a specific query or a specific request uh, or what's actually called in technical terms a call saying, I would like to know the temperature, whether it's sunny or rainy, and um, the, the date for right now. When the date is right now, I want to know the weather and I want to know if it's raining, if it's sunny, if it's windy, etc. And that ensures that you get the exact pieces of information you're looking for. Whereas there's no way to really communicate with the database otherwise, because there's so much information in it that you just can't specify. Got it. Okay. And do I need to communicate in like a very specific way or can I just sort of ask for whatever information I, I need? How does that work? So where the, the communication contract aspect of an API comes in is that you are essentially saying, I need exactly this piece of information in exactly this format and you're sending that on to the entity that's going to return it to you. So the entity can get it, receive it, reach out in itself for what it needs for you, and then send it back. Got it. Okay. And when you say something like, okay, the entity will receive it, they'll, they'll find that information and send it back, like, how does that information get back to the other entity, the other sort of, you know, application that, that made the call, as you called it? Sure. So that's essentially what the API exists for. They send back a message that contains the pieces of information that the original request had. So they're essentially sending back the original request also with the information in it. Got it. Okay, cool. Um, and then I think before I asked a few additional questions, you said you had maybe another example you were gonna share? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So that was a data access use case for an API, but another possible example of an API's use or purpose would be something to hide complexity. Okay. So in many cases, we have applications that operate on other applications. And a really good example of this is your iPhone. So perhaps yeah. I want to open like a photo editing application on my iPhone because I want to edit a photo and I want to take a photo right now in order to edit it. So in order for me to open my camera app through that application and to take a photo in the application, it needs to access the actual code that is written to open the camera app on my iPhone. Okay. But 
in order to do that without an API, what would have to happen is if that's 5,000 lines of code that Apple has created to allow you to open the camera function, then that photo editing application will have to take those 5,000 lines of code and essentially use that to open the camera icon on your mm. iPhone. But that's not a very efficient process. So instead what it does is it writes an API to say, iPhone, can you open this camera? And essentially by doing that, they streamline the entire process so that they need for their application by containing the complexity of the actual code to open a camera with an API. Got it. Okay. So it's, it's like you said, like a way to mask all of those details and not have, in this case, like an individual developer try and, you know, uh, reinvent the wheel because Apple has sort of already invented the wheel and made it available. Exactly. Got it. Okay, cool. Um, that sounds great. Awesome.